Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews of Tech Channel, and today I'm looking at the Loftech wireless router. Now, this isn't only a wireless router, it's also a power pack. There's a fair size battery in it, and from that you can charge up your cell phone, your tablet, your Kindle if you're on a trip. It also has a micro SD card slot that you can put uh, music files, photos on, put that in there, and it will share that over the wireless network that it creates. All right, you get the device itself. It's a little on the hefty side, but it's got a fair size battery in it. It's got indicator lights to show you the level of battery charge and also whether the Wi-Fi is currently turned on or off. And then on the side here, you've got two USB ports. One is just for charging. One is charging um, and or it will also uh, share out data from a flash drive, an external drive to that USB port. It's got an Ethernet port for plugging in if you happen to be somewhere where they are going to provide you internet with cable. You can take the Ethernet cable, plug it in. This will convert that to Wi-Fi, which you can then attach your devices to. And it also has that micro SD card slot for very compactly bringing files with you and sharing them out on your Wi-Fi network. Now it comes only with this fairly short cable. This is a USB, to a micro USB. You use this for charging it. So you would uh, plug the micro USB into the side of this and the USB into a laptop computer or a computer. Um, you can, of course, also charge it from the wall, but they don't give you the piece to do that. It's pretty standard though, it takes uh, five volts, so if you have a Kindle or your cell phone with the charger that you plug your USB cable for that into, you could plug this into that little piece with the prongs on it and plug it into the wall to charge it. And then there are the instructions, which um, you can see how much there is to it, and they're pretty small type, and this is all in English, so there's a lot to it because there's a lot you can do with this. It describes how to set it up, for a Wi-Fi network, how to do the different charging, how to share out the files. I went to their website, couldn't find a whole lot of information there. I thought there might be a downloadable manual or something, but looks like this is it. If you can't figure it out from this, you probably won't be able to use that feature of it. Now I'm gonna try out the Wi-Fi feature of this and the file sharing as well, but it's amazingly inexpensive right now. Now this black version I saw is about 35 bucks. They have a white version that I think is identical except for the color selling for $20 on Amazon. So I'll put a link to those down below if you'd like to check them out. Even if you didn't use the Wi-Fi or the other features of it, just as a portable power charger for your cell phone, for your tablets, 20 bucks really isn't bad. Plus you get all the other features. Okay, I have it plugged into the USB port of my laptop here. You can see it's uh, just about fully charged in terms of the battery capacity. The Wi-Fi is on, it uh, defaults to a Loftec uh, SSID, so what you would do with your laptop is disconnect from your, your home Wi-Fi if you're setting it up at home, connect to that Loftec, use the username and password that they tell you about in the instructions, and then you can program it and control the settings that way. I did see there's a wireless bridge utility and I tried to set that up, so I joined this network basically. Went in, told it to scan for networks, it found my home Wi-Fi, and I said use that as a bridge, basically bring that Wi-Fi connection over and then share it out through this device. Couldn't quite get that to work, so I looked online to see if maybe there was a firmware update, but I can't find anything like that on their website. I did see in the instructions, maybe dating this a little, that it mentions about um, design for Windows XP and Internet Explorer 8. So I'm thinking it's a little uh, out of date in terms of the software support, if they haven't updated anything for it since then. But I am going to try it out, plugging my, uh, from my home internet router into the Ethernet port and see if that will create a Wi-Fi network that I can share out. All right, I've got this back next to the router, plugged in with an Ethernet cable. I'm going to test it out and see if it's set up a Wi-Fi network I can attach to. A couple things I wanted to mention that I like that's kind of cool is I didn't have to plug the device in. It's got that internal battery that you can use to charge up your phone or your tablet, but it'll also run the device. I'm not sure for how long, but it's kind of cool. I don't have to worry about finding a plug for it right now. Also, the uh, internal network that it uh, sets up, it uses the address 192.168.168. Dot one, which is kind of unusual, and so it's not likely to interfere with the settings that are already in your router, because you run into trouble if you uh, use the same IP address, have more than one device on the network with the same address, so this should sort that out for people. It's good you don't have to get in there and reprogram that right away. So that worked. I'm able to get online now through the Loftec Wi-Fi network, which is basically taking it from the router and putting it out into the house. You could use this in a hotel or visiting your friend's house if uh, they will let you take an ethernet cable and go from their router 
to the Loftech device. You have your own Wi-Fi that you can use. Next, I want to check out the file sharing. If I plug in a USB flash drive with files on it, can I access those from my computer? Okay, I've got my flash drive with a few files on it, plugged into the port that's supposed to share the data. Now let's see if I can see it from the computer. Well, that worked. As simple as plugging in the USB drive there. I, one thing I did have to change here, and it's something that just I automatically did when I connected to that Wi-Fi network, I set it to public. So file sharing was turned off. I had to change it to a work network. It is my network after all. And once I did that, I see Loftech listed as an external device. I can go into that, into what they call the hard drive. And then I see my folder right here with the logo pics on it. So I was able to get in, share the files very easily that way. According to the instructions here, you can also download an app for your phone, your iPhone or your Android phone, install that, and so long as it's on the same Wi-Fi network, you will be able to get into shared files from your phone as well. Well, that actually worked surprisingly well and really wasn't that difficult. If you've been able to set up the Wi-Fi network at your home to go in and program the router via a browser, I think you'd probably be able to handle this. You've got the Wi-Fi that it provides, you've got the file sharing from a thumb drive or a micro SD card, and again, at its inexpensive price, it's really quite a good deal, just as a charging device. It's got a fairly substantial battery in it, and it's got two ports you can charge from. Just plug in your phone, plug in your tablet. If you're flying somewhere, you can't find a spot to sit down on the floor of the airport with everyone else and plug your phone in when you're switching flights, you can just charge it right from this. Pretty good idea, pretty good price for that, and you can take advantage of all those other features. If you'd like to get a hold of that white one, well, it's still at that really good price of $20. I'll put a link to that down below. Check it out online.